So guys, thank you first and foremost for clicking on this video. Secondly, this video is proudly sponsored by these guys, Fanatics.com. The world's largest collection of official sports apparel from all of the leagues, teams and players that you love. Their multiple online sports stores feature jerseys, t-shirts, hats and much more from the NFL, NCAA, MLB, NBA, NHL, NASCAR and there's even a little bit of soccer. Now Fanatics is, is more than just the business name. It's who we are, right? You're a fan. I'm a fan. In fact, I'd call myself a fanatic, a sports fanatic. That's why I've partnered with fanatics.com. Head down into the description box below, click the link, check the website out. They've always got incredible promotions from 10, 50, even up to 70, 80, even 90% off. So guys, thank you for watching, support the channel, and enjoy the video. What's up you guys, and welcome back to another episode of Rugby Player Reacts. I am your host, Jacob McDonald, and today, we're looking at a San Francisco 49ers linebacker by the name of Fred Warner. And for some weird reason, whenever I read Fred Warner, it, it brings me back to the 80s, maybe even the 70s. You know, I always think he's, a, he's an old player. Now, why is that? Is that because there was a Fred Warner back in the day? Or is it because I'm confusing him with Fran Tarkenton? I'm not completely sure. No, actually, I do know Fran Tarkenton was, was a player back in the day. Don't ask me any facts about him. But as far as a recognizable last name... He takes the cake. This video is about Fred Warner. He comes in at number 21 on the list. He's clearly well respected by his peers. And so with that being said, let's roll the intro and crack into it. So this video in particular, seeing as the name doesn't exactly jump out at me. I'm going to go straight to the stats. We'll start back to front this time. There he is, Fred Warner. And in fact, we actually did just see him in the previous video talking about DK Metcalf. So we've got Fred Warner as a linebacker talking about how crazy it was that DK Metcalf as a wide receiver was just as big. And that is the case. I mean, both of them are six foot three and both of them are 230 pounds. But as far as speed is concerned, DK's got it over Fred. But this video is not about DK. If you want to check him out, go back one spot. This video is about Big Fred. And Big Fred runs a 40-yard dash in 4.64 seconds, a three-cone drill in under seven, a vertical jump of almost 40 inches, and a broad jump of almost 10 feet, bench press effort of 21 reps, and a Wunderlich score of 32, which is up there. He played college football at BYU, which, if my memory serves me correctly, is... Brigham Young University, I would have got that, eventually. Pick number 70 in the third round of the 2018 NFL Draft. He played four seasons at BYU, which is good to see. A total of 49 games, 264 combined tackles, 158 solo, 106 assisted, 6.5 six sacks, 7 interceptions for 134 return yards at an average of 20. Longest return of 26 yards and two pick sixes, three force fumbles, five fumble recoveries. His seven career interceptions rank second in school history among linebackers. Came into the league, signed a four-year $3.97 million contract in 2018. He's played 16 games in 2018, 16 in 2019, and 16 in 2020. He's clearly an important part of the defense, and yeah, important he is. On July 21st, 2021, Warner signed a record-breaking five-year extension with the 49ers worth $95 million. So if nothing else, the man has been paid. Last year, 16 games, 125 tackles, 79 solo, 46 assisted, one sack, six passes deflected, two interceptions for three yards, one forced fumble, and two fumble recoveries. So he's absolutely everywhere. He's got stats upon stats. He's only been in the league for three years, but he's already a $100 million man. And that, Fred Rico, Anthony Fred Warner, means you're a 49ers legend. I think he should have gotten there last year. In my opinion, I think he's an all-pro linebacker. All-pro Fred, baby. Oh, yeah. So he's been here before, and he'll be here again. Everything's special about Fred. Hey, he's square, he's square, he's square. Yeah, 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 I don't run. Being able to compete against a guy like that that has that desire to be great every single day. Yo, yeah, boy. If you don't have that same intensity. Tell you what, and that's just one guy out there. That's one guy that's coming to take your head off. There's 11 of them. Oh no. He's going to complete your lunch. Over communicate one play at a time. He's going to complete your lunch. When's he going to eat my lunch? Yo, 
boy. If you don't have that same intensity, he's going to complete your lunch. Over communicate one play at a time, anticipate no huddle. Three now ain't enough. We need the rock. If you watch him take my friend, what jumps out? Oh, I say, I say his IQ. Back in 2019. Yeah, he's got a fairly decent one to look score. I'm Shannon. Oh, Fred. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Top 100 interviewed Fred Warner for the first time. Did you get a ballot? Did I get a ballot? Yes, you get to vote. Oh, yes. Okay. I think my list is probably the best out of anybody's. I wish I took a picture of the list. The list is beautiful. <laughs> beautiful is a good word to describe Warner's game. You just have to watch it. The film Don't Lock. Aaron Rodgers telling you you're the best? Well, I tend to believe that. And neither oh, do what the a players. play. They know a top 100 stud when they see one. He had eyes for 27 the entire way. Almost like a magnetic force between the two. Down and short. Darnold hands off. Fred Warner will come up with a big hit. I think Fred Warner's the best. The pure best line. Excuse me. Uh, Fred Warner will. 41 just stole his lunch. He stole half a sack. Come up with a big hit. I think Fred Warner's the best. The pure best linebacker in football. The way that he runs sideline to sideline. The guy is all <laughs> over the field. <laughs> always around the ball. He identifies things well. He's very instinctive. The guy is unbelievable. I truly feel like Fred is the best. He is moving. He really is moving across that backfield, isn't he? I mean, he's got he's got pretty decent speed. It was four six. What was it? Four six four. But he's got a three cone drill of under seven seconds, and he he jumps freaking high. And when those magnets are charged, he's not going to let you go. Linebacker in the game. He flies around the field, covering so much space. That's the thing, like a running back can go side to side, but if your linebackers are as agile and as fast as the opposite running back, then, you know, best of luck to them, but it's not going to end well. Most probably going to lose yards. Coach had a great clip where he's in the A-gap. You're not going to see any other Mike linebackers intending to blitz in the A-gap and can check out of it and run down a receiver. He wasn't, like, cheating over, so it was, like, crazy how he made it over there. This east and west is ridiculous. Can't yeah. run sideways on. Once again, shutting it down <laughs> and throwing him into his own teammate and throw <laughs> and sending him off the field with a bit of airtime as well. Oh, he's gonna catch it. National tight end day. Great job. Hey, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta catch a national tight end day. Throws the ball right to Fred Warner. The interceptions that he has. He had one in the Giants game. That was an incredibly hard catch. Get another one against the Patriots. What a play by Fred Warner. Where he basically picked it up off the turf. He went down low and took it right off the ground. Yeah, you can definitely get down. You can see how fast lottery this guy travels. And how he reads, you know, offenses. He reads pulling guards. He just knows where to always be. Oh, I love Fred Warner. Fred Warner, I love his game. I love how he come down here, he make plays in space. A lot of people can't make the plays that Fred makes. Game. <sighs> so he's gonna put his, he is gonna put his body on the line every single play. But not only that, the speed that he accumulates before putting in that hit, before putting his body on the line, is you know elite for a linebacker, right? So the speed combined with the agility, combined with the attitude, makes for an incredibly effective linebacker. But I'm thinking with his weight, he's not gonna be. He's probably a. I'm gonna say probably an inch taller than your average linebacker, and about you know ten pounds less than your average linebacker. So for him to still go out there and be as dominant as he is, I guess it must be the perfect hybrid of all three. He's taken off since 2019, and this year we interviewed him again. One of my favorite plays by far of my entire career it was in any of my interceptions or forced fumbles. It was a play against Arizona where I read the guard pull and had a guy up on me quick, I was able to you know, shake him, and then get in the hole and fit him up and get him on the ground. And that kind of just shows the growth in my game. Uh, we're going to need to watch that again. Had a guy up on me. Right, so he's pulling. The running back's going to want to go behind 67, I'm assuming. Quick. Was able to, you know, shake him. Kind of. Get in the hole and fit him up and get him. Well, we've got 67 and 81 clearing on that side. We've got 68 and 71 clearing on this side. And 64 
is meant to be cleaning up 54, but gets swiped away with ease. Was able to, you know. So this hole that's meant to open up, we've got him taken, we've got him taken. 81's actually coming for 57. Shake him, and then get in the hole and fit him up and get him on the ground. Which is on. So one player on each, one player on each. If 41 does break away, he's still got two defensive backs coming across. But Fred Warner shut it down before it could get to that point. Brown. That kind of just shows the growth in my game. Keep on up, yes, sir, man. I appreciate it. Ain't nobody like you. Let's go, gentlemen! And we're back to another running back. So, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for the support. Before I go, I want to let you know that this, this jersey right here is a 49ers jersey. It's not a proper game jersey but it is a customized one from an incredible subscriber of mine who supported me and my business major key physiques and so he said you know what let's put mkp on the back and you can wear it to a game one day still yet to wear it to a game one day but i've now worn it in a reaction video so mate if you're still here if the guy who sent me this jersey three years ago is still watching videos let me know down in the comments section below thanks for watching guys thank you so much for the support like the video if you've liked it and i'll see you in the next one peace out